Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Heat Signature, where we need to pick a guy. Wrench, shotgun, short blade, long-range swapper, gun, rechargeable long-range crash beam, or wrench and a rechargeable stealth shield. I haven't used the stealth shield too much. Like, I've definitely used it before, but it is something I'd prefer to get a little bit better at. So let's go ahead and try out Amoko Lemoran? Lemorang? I don't know. Not, not gonna dwell on that one. So we have no equipment. We're gonna really alarm response time. Bloodless claws. We we have the wrench. Yeah, we could do bloodless. Few guards. Kill no one. Capture this guy. Non-lethal required. Targets wrench heat sensor. I think that we could do this. I think we can. Let's try it. Give it a little shot here. Looks like the ship is going this way a little bit. Alright. Pretty large ship, but it is supposed to be a skele skeleton uh, crew on here, so we should be able to get through pretty easily. Let's take a look. Yeah, definitely a skeleton crew. We should do this very easily. Are there any lockboxes? There's one lockbox. Maybe we'll get some good equipment out of it. Who knows? For now, what we are going to do is sneak by, knock that guy out. We got to go get our level 2 key card from over here. Fast forward a little bit. Then we can knock you out. Going so swell. All right, and then this guy, we're just gonna take him out because we can. We get fucked. There we go. Uh, we can knock out the captain. It's easy enough. And we need to capture this guy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do that. We're gonna take our prize here, which is going to be a. Mass Euler Swapper. It's a one charge rechargeable swapper. Extreme range. This is uh, another legacy item that one of my people from another game came in and did. There's also another swapper on the floor. We're going to pick that up. We're also going to pick up the gun because we don't have any guns anymore. And we don't need to pick him up because we're just going to fly the ship home. Might as well. And then we can fast forward. Alright, so starting from scratch, drop that guy off, delivered to medical, everything looks good, let's check out what we got, audacious bloodless cl claws, we do have some money, What? how much money do we have, we got 46 credits, so we could buy something if we need to get a little bit of equipment, um, assassinate a guy, Doesn't say that he's gonna be either of these style, but that's fine. Concussive shotgun, emergency shield, concussion gun, and glitch dash. No from fiasco, so we'll get a little bit off the feed. Maybe we'll get we'll have another try at a personal mission. Um, bloodless claws, no alarm response, so that's good. If we do, you know, alarm the ship, they can't go anywhere. It's a bunch of sentry guns and lots of guards. Maybe not the smartest decision to take an audacious bloodless claws mission in the very beginning here, but we're gonna try it because oh, I I rolled my mouse and it stopped the zoom in. So let's let's see what we got here. Long range key cloner that would be pretty nice, but we can't afford it, so we're not gonna do that. Rechargeable crash beam would be useful. I'm tempted. The other thing is the sidewinder in there, which is also pretty useful. I think we might take both. We could definitely use the equipment. We'll take that swapper. Uh, we don't need the gun. We don't need the gun. And yeah, let's get out of here. So we're going to kill no one. Hopefully. It's going to be in my best interest, at least. Slow down a bit. And there we are. So what do we got? There's a lot of guards. It wasn't kidding. 
There are a lot of guards. I think we're going to have a little bit of waiting around. We're definitely going to need to use our stealth shield to get by here. Let's see who moves first. It's going to be this guy. This guy doesn't matter, so I don't really care. I don't know if the turrets can see through the stealth shields. I've never actually tested. I would assume not, but you never know. So I'm kind of waiting for this guy to move. There we go. I guess we're going to test the stealth shield theory. Looks like it doesn't. Or it does prevent the turrets from seeing you. Um, do we use the stealth shield again? I don't know. Tricky question. We do need a level 2 keycard to get past. Oh, we don't have a lot of options here, do we? Alright. If I say swap with the stealth shield active. Oh, they saw me. They saw me. They lost me. They lost me. All right. That kind of did a thing. Now we got our sidewinder so we can get out. It's actually a pretty long range sidewinder too. Surprisingly. Um we need to get a level 3 key card. Which looks like there's a couple. But only one that I can get to. That one is out of... No, we can get to that one too. Alright, well let's do this. I think we're going to knock this guy out. Let's take care of him. We're also going to knock out the captain because we can. Uh, It's kind of a tricky spot here. Okay. There we go. Easy money. We should be able to knock all these guys out. It'll just take a little bit of time. Which we all have. Oh, he's got a shield. I forgot about the shields. Fuck me. Alright. I was assuming that I could just shoot. Or keep hitting them. I forgot that the uh, key holders have shields. So we're going to have to come back. Remote control the pod. that. Let's get back over there. As you can see, now that the ship doesn't have a captain, it's kind of drifting. I like that there's a lot of attention to detail in that way. Let's see if we can... No, we cannot. They are going to do that. Um, We could do... Well, we could use this. question is, how do we use this best to profit? I don't know that we do. I'm not sure that we do. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to knock these guys out. Is this... Can be blown up, crashed, or hacked, but it is still active. We go here, we knock this guy out, we knock that guy out. It looks like the sentry gun is going to face this way soon, though, which is unfortunate. We could swap with you. I think that's probably our best bet. Jesus, look at that place. They're... It's insane. It's an insane amount of guards just hanging out there. Well, this area is clear now. We don't have a level 3 key card yet because I royally fucked all that up. I think there's a level 3 somewhere over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that one. Um, what can we do? We do have a lot of concussion guns on the floor, so we should actually probably use that. We could start clearing rooms. Okay, I turned that off. That thing scared me because it looked like it was going to face my way very soon. Alright, so let's do this. 
And then they heard. So they're gonna come check it out. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Mistakes. Lots of mistakes. Oh, they're knocking each other out. <laughs> I have a fucking swarm of people coming after me. Well, I can do that. And then... Maybe we swap with somebody? Fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Swap with you? I could swap with him. The problem is we're gonna be in the same position that we were a second ago. Yep, there they are. Knock you out. Jesus, there are so many of them. Um... This guy's gonna fire on me very soon, so we need to swap out. There's just no option to not swap. And I don't know if we have a good spot to swap. Yeah, because our range is very short. Oh, come on, please, please get in the... Oh, man. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. I could... Attempt to fake them out. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Okay. My bad. Swap. Done. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want to do this. All right. We're here. We don't have a key card. We're locked in. But we are here. Um Just crash beam that thing. So unfortunately, I can't crash beam the doors, which is what I really need. But If I fire this, they're going to hear. They're going to come this way. Maybe I can kind of engineer this so only he hears. So I'm going to fire my gun just at nothing. It doesn't really matter what. But that white radius is going to be the radius that people hear. I might catch one of the glitchers, but I'm not sure. Yep, I did. All right. Fine. Knock you out. Knock you out. Oh, okay. There's another one. Fire again. I think we're in a good spot here. We're going to need to use our crash beam here to knock out his shield, which is easy enough. And then we just got to kill this guy. And we can do that very easily. Uh, I don't need to pick him up. I just want to kill him. There we go. Personal mission intel is up here, so we're going to go that way. You know what? I'm just going to use this. Get the fuck out of my way. Knock that guy out. Take the personal mission intel. And you know what? I'm not going out that way. Fuck that shit. Oh, you know what? There's a shotgun. I like that. Uh, is that everything good? Yeah, that's everything good. So we're just going to shoot out this window. We're going to take the pod home. Because that was a hell mission. But we did do it. We killed no one. We, except for the target, of course. We uh, got our mission intel. We did everything. It was a little dicey, I have to admit. It was very dicey, but we did do it. So, it's pretty good. And I've been thinking, because I am going to be taking on much more difficult missions and things are going to be a little bit longer, I'm considering cutting these episodes down to, like, a single mission each. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too short or not. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear, I think. And for now, oh, we do have a liberation available. We can do that. But for now, I think I'm going to try to do one mission each. Because sometimes we get caught up. Like that last episode was 30 minutes. And it was a little excessive. We can do this. Unlocks concussive grenade launchers. Or restockable grenade launchers. I want the restockable ones. That's our only real option with dealing with armor. Is the grenade launchers. So we want to kind of buff those. And we got the Enigma clients. This client is so paranoid about remaining, remaining anonymous. That they want their contractors to be anonymous too. They want you to leave no one's who saw you alive you can either 
avoid being seen or kill everyone who sees you. Mousing over an enemy on the pause screen will tell you if they've seen you. Enigma missions pay more than regular missions if they fulfill the clause, less if you don't. Four clients dis undiscovered. So we got four more to pick up, but Enigmas are fun. I like them. I especially like the ghosting missions where nobody can even... Um, you can't kill anybody. You can't touch anybody, basically. Like, you have to be a ghost. You just go in, do your mission, and leave. But, yeah, for now, I think we're going to end this episode here. I know that it's short, and I'm sorry. It is 15 minutes. And it's, like, five minutes short, you know? But, otherwise, it's going to be another 30-minute episode. I know it. I'm going to take some mission that was way too difficult, and I'm going to end up spending another 15 minutes dicking around, paying for my mistakes. So, yeah, I'll end this one here. I hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you in the next one.